<sighs> Where am I? <laughs> hi. Hey. Hey. Hello. Yes. Hi. Oop. Um, right, there we go. Hey guys. Um, <laughs> bleh, how do I start this? Uh, some people asked to see my agrarian skies world. Um, and I thought it'd be kind of interesting to show you guys. I uh, don't really know how to start this. Um, except by maybe saying this is where the house used to be. Like obviously you can see a few different things around here. Um, so I'll try and just kind of showcase what it is. Uh, to kind of give you a little bit of perspective on where things were. This used to be where all that water ran. So the house would have been like right there. Um, and you head around and blah, 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 blah. There's nothing actually up here. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is what I've been doing. Um, I haven't really felt like recording much. Um, but of course I still wanted something to do because this is just my way of relaxing. Um, geez, those things are everywhere. Uh, so, yes. This is where it all started. Um, I kind of raised down that other house that you start with. Um, and... This is the chest where it has mostly everything that I started with. Um, and then I gradually uh, started building up. <laughs> and there you go. That is everything. No, I'm sorry. Um, over here, if you look over meow, um, got a few sheep uh, and a cow. Well, a couple cows. I was mainly using it for milk and wool, but I don't really need them anymore. Uh, a little bit of a farm over here. I'm probably going to make more um, wheat tomatoes, lettuce, etc. A couple of lamps of growth. It's kind of hard because I want to show you like the start, but there is no real start to this. Um, I kind of wanted like a tips and tricks kind of thing, but I'm not really sure how well that's going to go. Um, as most bases start, you kind of... Oh, there's lots of these around here. It comes from um, the sigil of the Phantom Bridge. I lost all my other sigils recently and I can't figure out where I left them. Um, but either way, you start off with your nice, lovely uh, mob spawner. So you can see on the little mini-map, they've got tons and tons of people in there. They end up falling down, um, and they end up in here. Now, I have to say, you can probably tell, my whole base is run uh, by Applied Energistics. Like, I don't have a whole ton of drives, but I've got a lot of drives with 64k storages. Um, and then 256, 4 million, 16 million, um, that's just kind of what I've been doing. Uh, and my 16 million ones haven't even started to get filled up yet, because mostly everything goes into this other lot. Um, oh, these guys, I forgot. Um, I'm on the one point, uh, I can't remember what version this is. I'm on the latest one right now, that's not the recommended one, I'm like one version higher. Um, and it releases these, these little guys here, the little mini-me's. Um, Deloop and Josh, and oh, don't they look adorable? Ah, oh. um, but yes, applied energistics. Uh, let's see, how, how do you start this? Okay, um, so we've got igneous extruders who turn things into gravel, sand, and then dust, uh, and then just two gravels here. I don't really need the sand ones, like, I'll get enough sand just as a byproduct. Uh, but they end up getting pumped into autonomous activators over here, which in turn, like, there's, there's, uh, blah. There are three autonomous activators per sieve, and then each thing goes into the water, travels towards the vacuum hopper, which in turn puts it onto the ME system. Um, I can probably activate some of this stuff then, I suppose, to show you guys. Uh, if I turn on this guy here, so we've got a dark cable and a leather, these things are told to put in golden ore sand and lead ore sand and all those, you know, like all the gravel and stuff. Um, essentially just to create things that will go over here. If you look in Mia, um, we've got uh, hammers in here. I've got tons and tons of hammers. Like my, my whole system, if we go over here, like this is my way of getting ore generation. Uh, turn everything into ore sand, dust, gravel, etc, whatever, um, all of that is fine, uh, so essentially it turns things into what I need, and then depending on what it is, if it is gravel or sand, it gets put into that chest right there, uh, which it has a ton of stuff because I've 
left this thing going without letting it break it down. Um, these hammers will be quick enough to break down all the stuff given enough time. Um, like if you keep on top of it, like you should only ever need one of these if you've only got one or two. Um, this thing here, like its sole purpose is just to do dust because I was running out of redstone. Um, right, uh, if we, yes, so gravel, otherwise it is sand. Uh, we've got a dark, bleh, what have we got? Uh, we've got another dark cable over here and that dark cable runs the precision export bus um, that does just basically all the different dusts which in turn get popped into here you can see that there's quite a few Ooh, and a little bit of lag this is not the best setup in terms of redstone furnaces like it will kind of get down to about here um, I could have made it better I'll show you a different design later on but um, yeah don't, don't use this design <laughs> but like I don't just in case you guys are wondering, I don't want to put it into Tinker's Construct, um, mainly just because it takes forever and there's always a chance that stuff gets stuck in pipes or blah 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 blah. I just turn it down to dust, put it into a furnace, and it works fine. I mean, it, that, that's all I need because I'm at the point where, you know, um, if we go into, uh, not that one, number of items, like, I've got 11,000 of them and I'm never going to end up using that much like that's just not gonna happen um, so that's how I generate my resources uh, I've got a few different things like um okay uh, I have three separate induction smelters one for hardened glass one for uh, enderium ingots and one for electrum because they just kept getting confused like it would pop in a pyrothium like that and then just completely mess up my day. Um, this way I can just leave it, you know, blocking mode, ignore, you know, just put in the pyrothium and you'll be sweet. Um, so that is good. Uh, it's gonna have to be a little bit all over the place because the very start, like, if, if you wanna bring it all the way back to like where everything starts, it all comes down to here, but then, you know, in order to make the Yalorium ingots for fuel, you have to come back over here. <laughs> Which um, comes down to Yalorium dust. Or, no, rather, it, it goes over here into Yalorium ingots. So you get 16 Yalorium ingots with 16 Yalorium dust. You get Yalorium dust by pulverized tin and sulfur. Um, pulverized tin is easy, you know, you, you just come back over here. Um, if it pulverizes one tin ingot, it will get one tin dust. Uh, but when it comes down to sulfur, um, there's no quick automation way to do it. And you'll kind of see this down here. Um, if we go over yonder, we can see I've got a kind of flower design. Um, you may have seen that kind of thing before. I'm not really sure. I haven't really watched too many other people's stuff. Um, so we can see if we haven't got 64 sulfur, like these level emitters are so good, so so good. Um, put it next to a dark cable and then run it along to where you're wanting things to go. You say you want 64 ingots and you say emit reds, well emit when levels are below. So if this is below 64, put turn it, turn it on essentially. If you haven't got enough, turn it on. Um, which in that case it will put in uh, coal which will in turn get smelted down into dust and um, actually dust is not supposed to be in there. I think I was using this for something else earlier. Um, but you get sulfur out of it eventually and so you get a lot more coal though. Like I, I have ridiculous amounts of pulverized coal um, but it's the only easy way I could think of to get enough sulfur for what I needed. So it all comes down to this but then these need to be powered and ugh. Like if you go back to where I first started for power, this was how I was generating it. You probably saw it before. Um, I mean, fine, igneous extruder. This is where it started. <laughs> a little bit of cobblestone. It runs all the way around these crucibles, which in turn smelt down uh, the cobblestone. Lava goes into the tank above, right there. And then that lava comes back down, goes into the magmatic dynamos, which in turn go into the energy cells. Um, those obviously didn't used to be, didn't used to be uh, resonant, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's that's just kind of where it goes. 
Um, and then from that point onwards, then we had this stuff here, like just a big reactor. Um, bleh. I'm not really sure if you guys were wanting a tutorial or, or what was going on there. Um, but I've got three Eulorium rods. Uh, you put some water inside. I chose the Enderium, uh, well, in, in the bucket, um, water just because I thought it looked nice. Saw that on Jenny B's one. Um, but that gives you 3.43 killer, killer flux. So just 3,433 flux per tick. Um, so, you know, considering that these things can only transmit 10,000 and I'm doing three out of 10,000, like I'm, I'm never going to use that much power. I was considering it, like I considered making another one of these and then kind of realized, well, I've got unlimited Eulorium. Why not just put a couple more cells in there? And so I've got three cells, 3,000, like 400 redstone flux. I'm thinking I'm pretty good. <sighs> um, and then let's see, where would be the next place to go? Um, like I've got this little kill chamber. One of my quest, uh, quest rewards uh, was tainted, uh, tainted earth. So that was kind of useful. And then things just spawn in here. Um, I've got a few grinders, which would basically just kill everything in there. It tends to do pretty well. Um, I would put in a fourth one, but I kind of liked having the view here just to kind of watch. Um, trading post here for villagers when I was trying to do that stuff. Um, if they stand right along this line, these guys will not get killed. Um, which is why I put the villager over here to just kind of... Um, yeah, this is my most useless villager. Um to try and you know lure the zombies away from that area so that this grinder could take care of them um in terms of uh <laughs> there's just sh so much to show you guys um right in terms of thorncraft this is like kind of where i started off um i did have a uh, crucible over here which kept overflowing and so I put in the pistons to kind of you know get rid of stuff um, deconstruction table don't use this like there is a much much better way in order to get your um, in order to get your uh, what is it called I can't believe I've forgotten already um, to get your research points so you can see the stuff over here like you can go the water where well, you can can go for the crystal cluster things they will give you an extra little shiny thing which lets you make like use one more point for research or something yeah don't do that don't even worry about that uh there is if you know what pecs are pitches pitches forages um like this guy here oh There you go. Um, all you need to do is set him up in a... Let's just show you. Actually, let's just do that now. I'll show you. Um, if you were running out of research points, knowledge fragments are your best friend. So if we go over here, you may have noticed... Oh man, my wiring is just kind of a mess. Um, if you look over here, I've got a nice lovely auto spawner. Put in the Petic Forager. They will stay in there. I'll probably leave that running just because they'll that'll be fine. Um, and they will spawn very, very soon. I was using it to spawn cows earlier in villages. Um, but there he is there. So they will start spawning. Those guys there, whoa. When they get buffed by the ground, they become very, very fast. Um, essentially what they do is they... They give you uh, knowledge fragments. So I started to run out. I'm only at 500 now. But all you do is just right click on this thing. Look at all those research points. So many. In order to get one of those guys, just build, like, or just make a grassy area in a magical forest biome. Um, you can create a magical forest biome by placing down a silverwood tree. Um, and try growing a few of them. Like if you get one for Aura Node, I think it changes like a little bit of the area. Um, this area was just one that was near my base and I kind of started marking it out. Um, there's a little bit more around here, but uh, I didn't quite get to it. Um, I'll talk about bees later. Um, but a pick forager would spawn on here eventually and then I just grabbed him. You stick him in here and not only does he give you knowledge fragments, but he also gives you magical beans. Um, 
when I was first trying to get the beans, uh, this is what I set up. <laughs> um, yeah, might look a little bit familiar. And then I just had a harvest golem who would, you know, chop down these things when they were ready. Um, and you can see that he's got spectacles because he was getting beans before it was cool, okay? <laughs> this is Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey was getting beans before it was cool. Hipster Jeffrey. Hipster golem. Um, and then I ended up getting the pick foragers. Um, essentially, they just give you tons and tons of beans. All the beans get sent down here. So if you look into, let's see, can I, can I see it? No, that's a crafting terminal. Um, there it is. Fuzzy export bus. Um, match any, if it finds any type of minor bean, put it into this ME interface, which in turn puts it into the system down here. Um, yeah, essentially don't, don't put stuff in, well, don't tell it to put stuff in here and then try and put a storage bus on the system as well. It will not work. It will try and pick up the beans already in here. Um, but this is the idea. So um, you just say what you want. So if I wanted to say, um, is there a poison one? Potentia, no, I don't want Potentia. What haven't I got? Um, Ignis, okay, let's do some Ignis. Ignis, okay. Let's just put in a whole stack. A uh, whole stack goes into the alchemical furnace breaks down this little guy with um, decanting on him. What are you doing? Don't put it in there, you jerk. <laughs> uh, he's only supposed to put things in there if um, if there's none anywhere else, but I may have just messed that up. Um, but yeah, so you just say what you want, you put it in the jar, and then you're good to go for infusion. Um, this guy over here, he is set to automatically generate, uh, well, automatically generate Herba and Aqua and Pedito. Um, these two are in the water jars because obviously I'm going to get tons and tons of that and I don't really care. Um, but just like a little cactus farm over here, you only need one lamp of growth, I think, but um, that's not a huge deal. Ooh. Flatmates are making noise. Uh, and then that harvest golem just chops them up. They fall into the vacuum hopper, which in turn puts it into the alchemical furnace. Uh, I do need to set it up so that it automatically gets like coal or um, the other one, elementum. Uh, I just haven't quite gotten around to that one yet. So essentially, <laughs> essentia, essentially, um, get a low, whole bunch of herba, which in turn goes through the essential mirrors, which will go to wherever I need stuff to grow. Um, and then I just happen to get infinite aqua and pedito as well. Uh, at the moment, they're just helping grow some of my crops here. That's right. Um, so we head back over Mia. So that's essentially how that one's working. Um, the more heads, like the more... Uh, I think you could use the exact same head or different heads all randomly. Like the idea of having all these heads and candles and things like that is so that you can try and balance your crafting a little bit more. I'm not really sure why that would end up working better than others. I bet you guys were watching that hunger bar, weren't you? Um, yeah, so spaghetti and meatballs. Um, yeah, so that's this little area. Um, basically produce a whole bunch of herba for free. Um, and aqua and potato. This guy here is just if I want to specifically craft a certain thing, which I did with golems. Um, so, you know, uh, Humanus, Spiritus, and Motus. Um, put that all into there, pick up the jars, put them um, underneath these little pipes here, and uh, away you go. That was pretty cool. Um, and then we have over here. So if you guys have played around, well, if you guys haven't yet, play around with blood magic. It is so good. Um, I really enjoyed my sigil of, um, uh, what was it? Sigil of air, where you can just fly around. Like I use that so much more than the warp book. The only reason why I've got the warp book again is because I, you know, lost the sigil. Um, jetpacks are good too. Uh, this guy here, essentially... Oh, that's something else as well. In terms of your wand, like, I, I got a few of them from um, from quests, but that's okay. 
I got three and ignore all the iron capped ones they drop from the oh geez that's far too many of those so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get rid of those without getting rid of these um basically where is it the picks serve more than one purpose as well as getting a whole bunch of beans and knowledge fragments they are also a very good source of uh, the V needed for wands so if you turn this on for a little while um, you can spawn a whole bunch of them and then you have your altar over here make sure that your altar is underneath one like technically I could have this under there as well but I was using that for a different purpose um, so you get that and you get your sacrificial knife I was trying to kill things that weren't on the altar so ignore that um, but you kill all of them and then that's good and then you see all those little orbs that is an amazing source of V for all your wands like that's just you know kind of what I've been doing um, none of that you know oh yeah you need a whole bunch of aura nodes eh. I haven't placed a single aura node the only aura node I've got is the one that was up here directly above the house this is the multiplayer version of the map where you can compete in teams um, but there was one up here I have I never needed to use it at all <laughs> so that's kind of cool uh, and then blood magic of course if you've looked at it you know that you need their their blood so you can get both their blood for it um, for all your spells and things for like sigils and what's not uh, and then you can also get you know the V needed for your wands like that is brilliant and then this guy here just sucks up all the items that they drop puts into the system um, this I was playing around with trying to figure out how I could get blank slates easier I think I'm going to need to do some sort of, um, let's see, what is it, not that one, this one's not allowed to spit out uh, normal stone, it's blacklisted, so stone stays in there until it changes and then comes out here, um, but if you set it to do like a stack of it, it will put in like, how much is that, it put in like 25 before I stopped it, and I just kept having to kill lots and lots of things so it would be able to finish the infusion. Um, this ritual over here, like if you know what blood magic is, this is a ritual, I used it to make a bound sword, um, that was needed for the quest, that's about it. Um, I don't know, you'll, you'll have to actually just go through the blood magic quest line, because that's probably the easier way to do it. Um, in terms of this stuff over here, I'll try and explain it. Uh, this here, all it's doing is just generating a whole ton of cobblestone, I'm still trying to get that cobblestone quest done. Um, the idea of these two, so this one here is put in, well, no, we'll start at the start. Uh, level emitters. If I do not have 256 basic processors, put in a basic processor assembly. So my ME system over there knows how to make the basic processor assembly. Um, same thing with advanced processor assembly. If it doesn't have 256 of those, make a bunch of those. Um, output into a basic input bus so it put stuff in, takes it out, gets it all ready. Um, this thing was something else, I was using it to make plastic but it wasn't fast enough. Um, at the moment it just puts in raw beef if I'm if I'm below a thousand. Uh, I was using that for spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, this guy over here, which looks like he's turned off, if I don't have 2,000, well 1,024 charcoal, make a whole bunch of that. Um, it's still trying to run through all the oak wood that it's told to put in there. Um, and then just imports into here so this will eventually fill up and if I ever go below 1024 charcoal it will just import a whole bunch of this stuff and it makes it very very quick um, this was my first kind of play around with the level emitters and I got a little bit better at it um, which is what these were uh, same kind of thing if I don't have 64 rubber bars make a whole bunch of those um, and then the rubber bars come put over here if I don't have 512 raw plastic uh, put in rubber bars funnily enough um, so you know 64 helps get that kind of thing started and then whatever is in um, whatever's in here will uh, help out um, what were you pulverizer coal oh that's right into sulfur I already showed you that one um, this one is just making dust, so, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. If I don't have a bunch of redstone, <laughs> make me a bunch of redstone. I only put that in recently, just because I was getting very, very annoyed. 
at 16 million, oh, where is it? 16M. This guy here, the 16M storage, is so frustrating to make. You need so much plastic um, and so much redstone. Ugh, I hated it. Um, but that's all done now, so I just wanted a whole bunch of redstone. I tried looking into the bees version of redstone, um, left my server on all night, and I, I didn't get very much redstone combs for my trouble. Um, but then I didn't go too far into it either. Basically, I need to... I've only just started on bees, like last night. Um, planters, oak, and rubber saplings. It's like, give me more oak than give me rubber. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, this section is not really used anymore. Um, its whole purpose, make sand, um, make water, make witch water, which in turn would make the mushrooms. So as soon as witch water is being made, it will spawn mushrooms around here. Harvester would, um, oh, it's running out of energy. It's not connected up to power anymore, that's why. Um, whenever a mushroom is in this area, it will harvest it. Um, on top of that, the sand, <laughs> 15k sand, um, the sand would get put into here, making um, soul sand. So this is essentially all this lot is doing, like this is a completely separate system. Um, make a bunch of mushrooms, soul sand, and normal sand. Um, yeah, very easy, but then I didn't need any more soul sand, so I kind of stopped it. So now I just have a bunch of sand. What was that doing? Oh, if I have dust, right. If this thing ever makes dust, it puts it into the trash because I didn't want it. Um, these things are specially formatted for uh, red mushrooms, brown mushrooms, um, one for sand and one for soul sand. Um, so I, I'll never end up going over that, it's fine. Um, actually, what kind of things are you using? I'm pretty sure that doesn't need to be 4K. Well, that one does. That one doesn't. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. I hate ocelots. <laughs> hate them. Because um, so much of my area around my base is like jungle wood. Or jungle wood biomes. Yeah. Ugh. Um, yeah. I think that's getting close to it. Um... Tesseracts, redstone energy cells, um, separate systems. Oh, with this, yeah, that's something I should say. All this is told is to keep stocked tons and tons of ender pearls, and same thing with this guy here, keep tons and tons of redstone stocked. I didn't see a point for telling it, oh yeah, if you put in one redstone, or like if you put in four redstone and blah 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 blah, no. Just tell it, you know, put in an energy conduit and put in a frame, and it will sort itself out like that's that's all you need to tell it to do there's no point with all the rest of the mcgubbins um makes it much much simpler you don't have to worry about chess uh, that's something that i had to do before uh, but i'm kind of at that point where i don't need to worry about it um because i'm always going to have ever infinite generating stuff Ooh, excuse me lightning is coming from my bees um in a way that thing keeps going yeah it's probably not going to be able to keep up with it now because I've left this going for hours. Um, I might have needed to set up a few more, but maybe if I leave it on for long enough, it'll be fine. All it's told to do is just make a bunch of stone hammers. Eventually, these things will break and it will go back to all stone hammers again. Um, got those from quests. Uh, more cobblestone generators. Um, all this thing is told to do is just create a bunch of the dusts, which in turn get put into there. That's fine, um, but that's how it automatically crafts. It's, it's just saying that you know this chest wants tons and tons of dust. Just put all your dust in there, um, which I think is fine. And then it's also told to you know if you need something um, smelted, which I can probably take these two out now. Um, if you need something smelted, put it in here and it'll get done. And then there's just import buses along the bottom. Um, <laughs> Fluid crafting chamber. Where is it? Down here. Um, you may have seen this before. For some reason I'm having a lot of trouble getting things to craft. Like eventually it will stop trying to craft cobblestone. Like there's some weird thing that goes on there. 
Um, this thing is trying to craft a whole bunch of dirt. I still need to set up a farm for that. Um, like I've got the leaves for it. It's not really a problem. Um, it's also told, well taught how to uh, make spaghetti and meatballs, which is something that I've finished. It has a lot of trouble crafting cream for, like if I go give me uh, 64 of those, um, it has a lot of trouble crafting the heavy cream, which I don't really understand. Um, like it seems to be fine now. I can't remember if I've got a bunch of cream in there already or not. Cream. Yeah, I've got cream in there already. If I tell it to craft cream by itself, it seems to be fine. Um, but, but I don't know. And then it's just given a 64k storage just to do the stuff it needs over here. Um, it keeps stealing all my mixing bowls because it's, yeah, it's taking, it's allowed access to whatever is in that system and use it in here, which, you know, is just with the, the storage bus over here. I can't <laughs> tell it not to steal the mixing bowls. Like it's, ugh. Um, well, maybe I, actually, can I do that? Allowed, reject listed items list. I mean, I could tell it not to put in mixing bowls, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Ghost of the cow. Um, but yeah, if you guys know something about that, let me know. It may have been fixed in this version because I've only just updated today to the um, the new non-recommended one. Um, yeah, I think that is just about everything. I'm sorry, it was a little bit of a shambles because everything is kind of all over the place. Um, oh yeah, the quest delivery system either delivers fluids or um, normal items. Oh, I've still got to talk about bees. I might talk about them, might not. Um, normal smelting area, I was using this one here to do the clear glass, clear glass is done. I'll actually show you my quest book as well before I'm done. Um, and then bees over here. If you are weary about bees, use a Mutatron, use an advanced Mutatron um, with Genetics Lab we're in that makes it so much easier because you can tell what the recipe for a certain bee is um, using your NEI. You put them into the advanced mutatron, you get to select which mutation you want, and you can directly go for it. Like, I needed royal jelly, so I figured out how to make imperial queen, and like, got it within about 10 minutes or so. Like, it makes it so much easier. Um, then you just get like a industrial apiary. Something over here gives me regeneration whenever I come here. It's kind of nice. Um, I'm pretty sure it might be the, the imperial queen. Um, and then I've got cultivated because I needed more drones and princesses and energetic, which gives me the redstone. Um, I'm still trying to play around with it. We've got automation upgrades to make sure it just keeps going forever. Production upgrades to increase the amount of stuff that it actually gives me. Um, so there we go. We just saw it. Energetic princess gets put back into there with another drone. Um, and then lifespan. So it tries to... Well, basically it just makes it like work quicker, I think. Um, not really too sure about that, but you're only allowed eight production and four lifespan and one automation. Obviously, only you only need one. Um, I haven't upgraded this one yet. This one was just being cultivated for um, breeding purposes. So you put a princess and a drone in here. You get a queen afterwards because it breeds them to become a queen with 100% chance of getting what you want. Then you have to stick it in something like this or in an apiary. Um, a magical forest biome was the one that worked for me in terms of getting what I wanted here. So common, cultivated, um, imperial, uh, energetic, which I needed valiant and excited and etc. Like um, all of that kind of stuff, very, very quick to do. Um, only takes you about 5-10 minutes. Um, right, and my quest book, and then we'll kind of call it quits. What I would like to do, I'll also end up talking a little bit about what I'd like to do afterwards. Um, I'd like to make a place where other people could play with me, uh, which I think would be kind of cool, just to see what other people end up doing. Because um, there are other islands out here. I've had to decrease uh, decrease the um, all my settings because it's like this base is so laggy, like. Yeah, it, it kind of slows me down when I have everything. Um, if I go... Hang on, where am I? This way. 
There are other, there are other bases. So this is what one of the corner ones look like, which I actually think looks quite cool. But um, if you turn on your jetpack just before you hit the ground, it doesn't take damage. Um, hopper, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So there are other bases around here. Look how amazing that base looks. This would be so annoying for other people though, being right beside me. Um, I can't host this one because the internet's just too slow when other people join and try and get near my base. My internet connection is not fast enough to tell their client everything that my base is doing. Like that's just, there's just too much stuff going on. Um, right, so, oh, by the way, all the sounds are really quiet because I needed peace and quiet. Um, right, uh, where are you? There we are. So this is just kind of what I've ended up doing. Uh, I finished learning to skyblock, Hell's Kitchen, um, done toast, all the basic stuff. Spaghetti and meatballs, still got to work on Vegan Delight. I think that will be my next one. Um, although tomatoes and lettuce are getting done right now as well because they take like 10,000 each or something. Um, steel powered flight is all done. That was pretty easy. Working on bees. Um, needed royal jelly before I ended up completing like some of these other ones. Uh, alviaries. I'd much rather use the industrial things over there just because they can be easily automated. Um, and the Mutatrons. Uh, you're a wizard, Steve. I'm on the final two for that one. Uh, for the hoarding. So I've got a few more things here, obviously. Um, but they shouldn't be too bad. It's mainly just setting up the system to... Um, oh, and this lot. Like, I, I didn't need to do automated mining yet because I've got so many resources all set up. Um, but yeah, anyway, all that stuff. Uh, go with the flow, haven't done too many of those, just basic liquid mob essence, milk, um, and the two storage ones here which were easy to do. Um, still haven't unlocked the end, um, only done basic stuff and bragging rights, so just the thermal expansion, and that's about it. Um, when I get to it I'll end up putting all my excess drones straight into this. Um, which you'll need about a hundred thousand of them, which when I actually get really going with bees, that's not going to be a problem. Um, should be done within a few days of my server being on. Uh, but that will be cool. Um, yeah. You're a wizard, Steve. Like all, all of this stuff was really cool to do. I, uh, I didn't do blood alchemy until I got to about here. Um, haven't played much with it because I didn't need to know how to fly. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's about 37 minutes in, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed your day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed what I've done here as well. Like, it's... I, I kind of like it. All they do, they fall in here. Some of them die when they fall down, that's okay. Mostly it's just get killed. Everything is to a purpose, and some things can't work without other things being in there. Like, the idea of the infrastructure of everything is really cool. Like how this thing can't run without enough sulfur, which needs power to make sulfur because you need to pulverize coal. And in order to get the coal, then you need this kind of stuff going. And oh, it's so cool. Um, if you guys want me to, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you want me to put this up as a world download for you guys to check out. Otherwise, I hope that you are having a fantastic day. And um, yeah, Josh and Deloop say goodbye. <laughs> Bye guys, I, uh, oh, look how adorable they are. Yeah, <laughs> catch you guys later.